Okay, folks, welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program. I have regained my microphone mount, so let me know if that is marginally better. We shall see how it goes. I didn't put the um, little pop filter back on yet, so if there's extra popping, please let me know, and I will be sure to put the pop filter on next time, I guess. Um, okay, so where we last left off, if I recall correctly, we we're dealing with this whole hydrogen situation. The good news is that it looks like we are, in fact, accumulating hydrogen over here at this point. We have this kind of quasi loop set up here. Um, it's actually not a loop at all. So it's not quasi and it's not a loop. It's just nothing. Um, the other thing I know we wanted to take a look at was this. Yeah, this is still a problem. This is really low for some reason. We are feeding these out. Huh. This is interesting. This is basically acting like a big buffer, right? I'm wondering where we're using this fuel. I think it's only being used on Alchibo 1 for the most part, but we'll see how long that becomes an issue. The other thing we could do is potentially tamp down how many of these we have running. I actually like the idea of just pulling three of these out because clearly we have enough. Interesting, we're actually not producing enough. All right, well, let's see what happens. We just put those three back. Let's see if we can run out of this, essentially, is my goal. I wonder... All right, we have enough hydrogen in all of these. We can always set up more of these, so I'm not worried about it at all, as far as the fractionators go. The question is going to be more so that uses a lot of hydrogen, right? And if we can get away with not having to do that, that would be my preference. All right, so this is fully stocked back up again. I think we're just kind of going to let it go for a little bit. Interesting, we actually burned through our whole deuterium supply. I mean, we kind of knew that was coming, realistically. So, let's check really quickly deuterium. It'd be great if there was a search. I guess, nope, we don't have deuterium. Is it, it doesn't even really go by alphabetical order. I don't really know deuterium. Okay, yep, so this is a problem right here. Producer zero, though, that's obviously not correct, so I'm not exactly sure how it's calculating that. Um, oops. So I guess the real question, or the real problem, rather, is our production rate is 11, and our consumption rate is 12.3. So, do we just build another one of these? We have, God knows, enough fractionators to do that. The question would be where we did it. I think... My personal preference would be to set something up here, reroute how all of this runs, and put another one right here. That would make the most sense to me. This line and this line are both running here. We could route these down and around. That makes sense. All right, let's do that. I, I think we should just bite the bullet here. And you know, the funny part is that we'll then run into a hydrogen problem, I have no doubt. So we'll see how this goes. But honestly, the hydrogen is easier to fix, in my personal opinion, um, because we can harvest hydrogen. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Well, that's OK. Let's actually fix this right now. I'm just going to run this all the way down and around. There we go. And then actually, while we're at it, we'll take this up. Boom. There we go. So we're just going to fix all this. And then throw any spare deuterium we have right in there. Okay. So now we can get rid of all of this. Ooh, hey. Okay. So that is fun, new, and cool. Artificial star energy production. Okay. Ooh, sexy. Okay. So we need. How does it actually make energy? Is it just an output, essentially? Does it, do you have to feed anything into it? Does it consume anything, I guess, is my real question. It, it doesn't look like it. If you know, please let me know. Um, I'm sure we'll have to make one of these eventually, um, but I'm just not really sure yet. Like this, we could obviously, this is not difficult to make. I'm assuming because none of these things our antimatter that we probably have to feed it uh where did they go i guess we can't make it but i think we have to feed it with those little antimatter guys we have one in our inventory 
Maybe not. I'm not seeing it off the top of my head. But yeah, that that's my assumption. Let me see. Actually, if I go to buy planet, logistic stations, turn off collectors on Alchiba 2, there should be... Yeah, these critical photons. That's what I'm talking about. I assume we have to feed it critical photons. Yeah, because it's some sort of reactor. Yeah, these photons get converted into antimatter. And then I assume this antimatter is what feeds into the star. Okay, so you can turn them into a fuel rod. And this fuel rod is probably what powers the star, is my assumption. Or the mini star, whatever the heck this thing is. Artificial star. So, knowing that... We could make some of these, but definitely don't have enough. Let's let's not deal with that. Let's keep doing our deuterium because I think we're going to need this for other stuff anyways, right? We don't have any deuterium to supply this. It's not the end of the world to make another one of these. All we're going to need is some belts and some uh, creative thinking. Maybe even a little elbow grease. All right, so we need eight of them total. We are going to... How do we have this set up? Okay, so that's potentially problematic because we did not leave ourselves enough space here. So, let's fix that. Do we just rip this one out too? I'm, I'm just gonna do it before I can regret it. That's my new plan. That's what I do these days. Just do it before you regret it. All right, and then let's... Uh, I can't do that, all right bunch of hydrogen. Interesting. I think that is... Boom. There we go. Deuterium. Literally just the two of them. That's cool. At least they have friends. Let's get the rest of this hydrogen up. I'm assuming it's hydrogen. Cool. Well, that's already great news. Our hydrogen is clearly exploding. Love to see that. Um, okay. So... Pull this back a little bit. Other things, we're going to kill those towers. We're going to switch this over to um, one of these bad boys. Speaking of which, we should probably build a few more of those. Can we do that with what we have right now? No, because we need some of these, and we don't have those. All right, well, we'll, well, we'll get to do it naturally. All right, so we want to mimic what we have here, which is realistically actually just one of these because of the way that we're going to set it up. So we can put it this close. We're going to split this way. It's going to go directly in there. And we're going to have one right down here. And I think that if we run this in here, run this in here, it should be okay. The only trick will be if we need a second splitter right here. And I think that we do. Yep. So let's just put one in right there. Boom. Okay. I'll do the same down here. Uh, we're going to need to make a few more splitters too. I wonder how hard that is. Elements, splitters. Uh, yeah, that's easy to do. Well, don't. Nope, that's not enough either. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? How do I just add 100? That's not it. It's going up by 10. I want to go up by 100. That's up by how many you can make. There we go. Okay. I don't know why that was so difficult for me. Enough stuff. All right. So now, let's double check how this stuff gets fed in. We want to use these to feed into the actual loops. And then we're going to rotate around a little bit differently. One, two, three, four. And then it looks like it's two back, right? One, two. Yep. One, two. These are all going up and over. And it's going to go back through here. And we're not connecting up this side yet because we're going to run the bottom line through first. I just find that easier. Come on. There we go. Run this through. And we're going to go 
Oh, no, you're not gonna climb the building. There we go. Okay. So now, I think it uses these guys. Run out here. Let's rotate just a little bit. Okay. Beautiful. Uh, what? N not beautiful, I guess, this case may be. And we'll run this down here. I, I don't think this will be a problem, but if we can, we can obviously easily reroute that if we need to. What I really want to see is if we can fit one of these. Fuck. What? Uh, it's not going to be enough, is it? If I put it over here. Ugh. Annoying. All right. Well, if we at least run two to the middle, then I think we can put two on each side. I hate this solution. It's not very elegant, but you know what? It works. All right. So we're at least covering all of them at this point. Why are... Yeah, I know. I know that. Can I not copy the recipe? This is obviously going to be the same thing, so I don't know why they're not showing the same. Oh, I see, because they don't actually have the raw materials in them. Okay, so these are ready to output, so let's do that. I forgot that we had basically hooked everything up already. That's okay, though. It doesn't really matter. Oops. So like we said, they're not actually going to work properly yet. Okay. And then back to yep. Down. Uh what? Did you somehow get too close? Uh oh. No. No, I must have screwed something up. There we go. I think that was it. Yeah. Ooh, that's a very tight corner. Nice. All right. Yep. So this whole thing will start filling up. And then the thing we just have to make sure we want to do is this, I believe. Is that how this filter is set up? I, yes. Okay. Cool. So we're going to feed down there as much as we can. Make sure that one totally fills up. All right. Do the same deal over here. And there, I remember those took a little bit of manual starting to get to work correctly last time. So we may have to finick around with this. This can be a little bit tricky if you're not um, used to setting these up. So definitely just kind of keep an eye out to understand what I'm doing. Uh, truth be told, I don't 100% understand it either, but I know I can get to work. So we'll kind of explore together and watch what happens. But they will start to jam up if you're not careful and you actually need to pull a few out. Yes, there's product stacking. So you actually just want to go to this conveyor belt pull a few of these out and then they'll all just kind of start working uh okay well that wasn't it there's something about this that i remember we had to do last time to get this to work uh maybe it has to do with how this is set up nope sorry not you the splitter Oh, it's prioritized input from this side. Yep, that's what it is. You gotta prioritize this input and then pull a few out. Okay, so that gets it flowing properly. This one, for some reason, is just going like gangbusters, apparently. But I actually don't think that's working correctly, so let's do the same deal. Let's see if we get this to stabilize. Because these obviously don't do that. I think they'll end up stabilizing. We'll find out, I guess, right? Boom. Okay. But, all right, so we are getting the pile up. I expected we're getting, and exactly, aha, I knew this was going to be a problem. There we go. Huge tip, folks. Do not forget this. When you run an, a lower MK uh, rank line into a, a T intersection here, this line will bring down the level of this conveyor belt piece and it'll slow everything down. So always make sure that you go back through and upgrade that line because otherwise you saw what just happened. You get blocks up, you get block ups, or blockages because you have one belt of MK2 and an MK3 line. Everything has to slow down and speed back up here. It's the worst place to do that. So definitely note that when you see that kind of slowdown where you don't think you should be seeing a slowdown, that's the first thing you should check. Huge, huge, huge catch there. All right, these all seem to be working just fine. Cool. Honestly, that was the better way to do this anyways, so I'm glad that we fixed it. 
the only thing to do that would have been even smarter would actually be to uh, rerun these to work on this side and then actually set up a second one over here because this is three I expect we'll probably have to go to four and that's what we would have to do but I don't really want to do that right now because our hydrogen production is finally I mean uh, let's see if it's actually an issue over here oh yeah see we're almost back over here already let's stack this up here because we don't actually need more than this like this is already an absurd amount honestly we should just do this there we go so this will just start it all stacking we don't need all four of these right we don't even really need one of them so let's just slowly start getting rid of these we'll get rid of this one get rid of this one i'm just setting it down to one because i'm afraid that if i don't it's going to actually trash them and that's obviously not what we want to do uh given the trash mod situation right so i think this is a better solution pop that in there so what we're aiming for is product stacking across all of these which we will hit eventually probably not anytime soon because um, I don't know what the inventory minimum they have to have to hit product stacking is, but sometime at this point we will hit positive on this because our production rate, hmm, that's weird, and our consumption rate is the lower. Theoretical max is 42. Wow, that's nuts. Um, oh, this is nice too. This uh, theoretical max here. This is coming from a mod I installed recently called Better Stats by Broken Mass. Um, they've done a pretty good job of updating it pretty quickly, um, and it seems to be some helpful understanding of where your choke points are. So like right here, for instance, consumption of hydrogen is limited by our production capacity, it looks like. So good things to know. Okay, a few other things we might want to do this episode. I think we want to throw a few more of these down. So let's pop over. Oh, before I forget, we want to make a few more of our power satellite substations. So let's go grab to do that. We need more of these, we need more of these, which means we need the magnetic coils and the prisms. So let us go over here. Grab some coils. Grab some prisms. Coils. Hello, coil. Actually, the other thing I kind of want to do is, first of all, close this, organize that. Ah, prisms. Delightful. Let's take all of these. I don't see any coils in here. Um, but the other thing I wanted to do was drop some of those in there. Let's take, like, even 600, right? Because the thing is, we just have so many of those. We just needed to get rid of some of them. It was overwhelming. Uh, oh, whoops, coils over here, too. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's take a one-way trip to Crazy Town over here. Coils. One, two, three, four, five, six. Why the hell not, right? All right, how many of these can we make? Two. Why is that? For a material issue, I bet. Yep, okay. So let's go off to Algebra 2. We knew we had to go over there anyway, so this is actually not a problem. Ooh, we're at, starting to get that second ring in there. Nice. That looks really cool. I actually think those rings are clipping through our blue giant. Yeah, that's that's what that looks like. We and as I said, folks, we may actually want to disable this mod relatively. Like once we actually start building the sphere, I've loved our our blue boy over here. Um, it looks really cool. Oh no, they're not clipping through. All right, well maybe I'll take it back then. Oh oh, that was disconcerting. Okay, um, this is producing incredibly slowly but incredibly surely. Can I make more of these? No, but we will shortly. Okay, that's a problem for another day. Let us go gather. What was it that we needed to get to do this? To make these? Oh, frame material. Uh, frame material is on the other side of the planet. So let's just kind of keep moseying on along here. Let's just all look. We are producing our hydrogen here. Nice, nice, nice. This seems to be going just fine. We still haven't really hit max on this. That's okay. Frame material. Oh, crap. Okay. Well, we'll just stand here and grab some. It's really not that big of a deal. Let's see how long this takes us. <laughs> yeah, this might be a good, good while here. Uh, here, let's just do this. There we go. Uh, nope, that doesn't fix it. Eventually, one of these days, we will learn. But that day is not today. All right, so we'll just sit here and grab a little bit more. I don't really know how much we need. We'll just kind of, we'll just kind of wing it. Um, cool, 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 cool. All right. Well, this is getting boring. So, how many of these can we make? Nineteen. Sounds good to me. 
cool. All right, we're not limited by something else anyways. All right, so what was the other reason we were over here? We wanted to make something else. I cannot for the life of me remember what it was, but we were over here to do it. Uh, I think what would make sense to do is probably start to capture more of our antimatter. That makes sense to me. So I think we need to make more of these bad boys. Uh, because we would want to set up our splitter shop. Oh, we know we were over here to make an orbital collector. That's what it was. And we wanted to get some full accumulators. And we also used up all of our freaking super magnetic rings, because we're a genius. So we got that going for us, which is nice. All right, so where's our pole station? Uh, that's not it. So let's keep moving. Here we go. Okay. Wow. That storage capacity is actually absurd. So let's grab some of these. It's just not rotating at all anymore. I think that's the problem. Is it? This is just not, not moving at all, which is actually fine with me. So no worries. All right. How many of those do we need? Oh, now we. Okay, it's twenty. So let's get two more. Boom. Cool. All right. Off to Alchiva One. We're just taking a real tour of the system. Chiba one. Ooh, you're not even tucked inside of our blue giant yet, are you? All right. We may want to make a few more launchers too, because I've been enjoying the launching, the EM launchers right now. Yeah, I need more of those. Just fly right through our little cloud there. Nice. All right. Let's hop this direction. There we go. Oh my gosh, it never gets old. Are you ready for this? Oh, so nice. You love to see it. You absolutely love to see it. Absolutely. All right. Let's make some more of these. What are we missing out on? These little guys? No worries. We can make more of these, too. All right. Let's dump some of those back in. That's still too many. Put a few more back. Make a couple of these. Aluminum bars, is that what we're low on? Yeah. All right, well, let's grab a few more of these just so we don't run dry and go get some aluminum. This is like where we can really start to cook, honestly, because now that we've gotten out of this mid-game issue of the motors, I think things are just gonna go a lot faster for us. But we also needed some more steel, if I recall. So let's do this like we ought to. Two more, and then we need accumulators. Not a problem, let's just make a ton of these. More aluminum. All right. Or titanium, I think. I'm busy mangling the phrasing over here, but nobody told me off. I appreciate that. That's what I like to see. Cool. All right. So we're going to grab a little bit of steel. Boom. Uh, we have everything we need on this planet. Let's double check our recipe really quickly. Oh, we are going to need some of these, which we have. Uh, processors, which we can grab, and photon combiners, which we're making on that planet, so it should be a problem. All right, let us turn this car around. What else have we grab? We have plenty of high purity silicon. So, what did I literally just say? And to get, I said processors. I think we have those. Boom. Oh, so nice. All right. Got plenty of those. I'm going to grab a few more of these just while we're here. We have this delightful inventory space. It's honestly what's not to like about taking a few more of these. And this is an excessive amount, so let's just dial it back there. Dump this in there. Okay. You. Uh, oh, we do need the silicon plates. I see. Okay, so let's leave. All right. Where? Where's the shooting? Shoot, shoot, shoot. There we go. All right. All right, all right, all right. Oh my gosh. All the planets are so close to each other right now. It's just such a nice feeling. Everyone's getting along. Gotta love it. Okay. So we're looking for here is silicon, right? Quality, high purity silicon. Luckily, we've been collecting it. Not here, though. I Man, do I just always pick the wrong direction to go? That is kind of annoying. Yeah, it must be this one over here. Yep. 
we should at some point sort out this whole energy storage system because it clearly didn't really pan out for us. And I bet if we revisited it now, knowing what we know, it'd be easier to do this remotely. Why are we even doing this? Uh, are we using these on this planet somehow for something? I don't think we're making Casimir crystals on this planet anywhere, right? Yeah, let's just let's just go back. I don't think we need that. All right. I'm going to find out later. He did, in fact, need that terribly, and he definitely screwed up by getting rid of it. But you know what? That sounds like a problem for us later, so let's not do that quite yet. All right. We need these weird-looking things. That is apparently all that will fit in my inventory. We do not want to run into a problem of not being able to actually use these things, so let's actually do that. All right. Let's make... Ooh, 30. That sounds a lot better to me. There we go. These are ray receivers. Cool. So let's start throwing these down. Uh, we're on the dark side of the moon. We can recover. Look at that beautiful sunlight. Gotta love it. Uh, we actually have to find what we're looking for, though. Okay. So I think the way that we want to do this is just make like a big back patch here, essentially. There we go. I think that seems pretty solid to me. So we'll come out of here. Like that. Like that. Photon. Photon. Beautiful. Okay. And these are at 100%. Photon generation of 1.33 versus 0.55. Okay, so it is definitely going to speed up. I see. All right. So the other interesting thing, let's see if this works, is if we put one directly behind it. Now what I think we can do this. Let's see if this works properly. Got the photon generation. We're just going to have to sit here and wait. Alright, let me know if you see one. Where art thou, O oh, photon? What does it say? Point... Oh, it's going to take like two minutes. All right, well, I'm definitely not going to sit here and wait for that. But I'm going to presume that this is working properly until I see something that tells me it isn't. So we can just go through and line these up. All nice-like. I wonder if they actually put off any power. The other question, too, is... Ah, man, if we... Well, so actually... We don't even have to do this, then. Let's... Let's, uh, so what I'm trying to figure out is how many photons we'll be producing because what we could do, what I actually like the idea of doing better is, all right, let's, we're going to try a little radical redesign here and see how this goes. I think we link them all up into one huge structure and then deal with it that way. So let's. This will be kind of maybe the last thing we do this episode. We're going to pull all of them. Just get rid of all of them. And do this a little bit differently. So. We'll have this local thing. Right. Aligned here. Actually, no. We're not going to do that. Let us put down our uh, these guys first. We know we want to be close, right? Let's get it as close as possible. Cinch it up here. And get... Uh, first of all, change that to photon generation. Oh, so you did... Could you, okay, well, you're, you're terrible at your job. I want to be getting you closer. All right. How close can we feasibly get to these? That's what I'm trying to figure out. All right, that looks pretty well aligned. All right, that's the line we want to be on. look different if they're generating photons. I don't know, to my eye, why that is. I think it's like purple instead of, I don't know, whatever. Point being, what we want to do is have everything flow out this way. So, right now, these are all 
rotating the wrong direction. So what I actually want to do, I think, is... I'm sorry. We're going to do this one more time. So we're going to have one be just kind of like the primary controller here. This is going to be rotated this way. So everything will flow out of this one right through here. Actually, after all of that, I still think what we did was the right call because then we have more control over the system. So let's do it this way. We'll have all of these lead out here. And then we'll go here. And then I think the change that we are going to make is I'm going to use a uh, local logistic system right here to handle these. Um, there we go. And it's fine. I'm fine with this actually demanding these. So we have way more storage for this. Um, but I think that realistically, we're gonna want more control. Uh, and it's just easier, frankly. Okay, how close can we get? That looks pretty darn. Just change this now, so I don't have to go back and keep changing it. Uh, oh, whoops, no, can't do that. All right, let's reset one final time. Okay, there we go. Now it's facing the right direction, even. I think... There's not going to be a central alignment because this is five squares across and this obviously lands on one. So let's actually just not even try. You got a photon generation. All right. We want to be as close to here as possible. So, you know what? That's okay. We did a little bit of experimenting and came to the conclusion that actually, though unintentional, the way that we had set up earlier, was the way that we wanted to do it. It's never a bad thing. You know, at least we tried. I'd much rather be trying it now and learning what we want to do and being confident in that decision and being able to trust that I made it for the right reason and trying to come back and second guess myself. Um, because I'll do that later <laughs> when I've forgotten why I did this. But hopefully at this point in the game, I'm now better at trusting myself. Uh, as to why I've done these things in the first place. So now what we want to do is pull these out here and we'll feed them all directly down into their uh, kind of primary partners here. So my thought process is I'm not 100% sure how many photons they're all going to produce. I don't think it's going to be considerable amounts, but what I was worried about was potentially getting some jamming. And so now we don't have to worry about that. The other thing this does is that it's at, you know, Let's not even bother. I don't want to do that. We'll downgrade these. These don't have to be fast. Actually downgrade that whole thing. Because I don't really care how fast that goes. We will keep... The, actually, no. That's that's a bad idea. There we go. Let's upgrade that. We'll keep this upgraded and we'll keep those upgraded. But um, as for the actual links themselves, I think these links can be lower. There we go. Cool. All right, so we'll just layer these in, and I think that'll be a good place to uh, take a quick break. If I don't get trapped in prison of my own making first. So this will be interesting to deal with uh, once we start to hit the curvature of the Earth. These are all photon, right? Nice. Okay. I'm just going to place these all down, and then we'll go back and line them up. Actually, I think we're already starting to hit it a little bit, unless I misplaced that. Yeah. Well, that's unfortunate. What if I place it on this one first? No. Okay. What is our pattern? Is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So let's place our middle one, and then we'll rotate out from that. Okay. question will really be how we actually end up doing the routing. Let's actually start routing these. Uh, shoot. We'll start routing these now. Just to see how it goes. There we go. I'm just going to add some wonky lines, but that's okay. Okay. 
That's fine. Doesn't really matter. Just gonna have to go over two. I'm gonna have to go over three. Boom. Beautiful. Cool. Awesome. Okay, so let's see what our total photon production output is. I assume it's not sizable. Uh, you know what? It's nothing at all because we didn't mark this to accept photons. There we go. Uh, I have no idea how this is not somehow getting power from the gigantic solar grid that is literally right next to it. But I guess for some reason, we need to do this. There we go. That was weird. All right, and none of these have drones. So let's uh, take a 10 stack and throw that here, just in case we have to end up grabbing them. All right, and then how many more of these do we have left? Seven. Oh, cool, perfect. Now for one more row, and we're in a good spot. Again, we're going to base this off of our middle one. And just go over as much as we can. Alrighty. Beautiful. Okay. Back over here. Connect up the middle belt. Oh, these line up again now. Interesting. Huh. Well done. I'm okay with it. There we go. Cool. All right. So I'm curious about the production rate of these photons. Uh, okay, that's the absolute bottom. Pairing the critical photons production rate 0.1 per second. Cool, 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 cool. All right. Well, with that, let us take a quick pick of our beautiful, beautiful field here. Gotta hit it up on the gram. Love it. It's kind of like some Where's Waldo. Eh. Alright. Thank you again, everyone, for joining me. When we come back next time, we get in all sorts of trouble, I suppose. We'll probably figure out what's going wrong with our deuterium. Uh, go back and give that a look. And then uh, figure out what we gotta do with all these uh, photons now that we have them, right? So, alright. Until next time, take care, folks.